All right, folks, it's Pino Black, and basically Dutch is caught, but we've caught on CPM and RADS in the past because basically they are playing with it. And on CPM and RADS, on the radiation, they mess with the box. Okay, if you don't get to see when they clean the box out, and they would mess, and their stuff was basically tamper proof because the clock would change. We'd show that. Now they're starting to not let people know about earthquakes. And we kind of, I was kind of. Presuming and assuming, and the presuming and assuming eventually starts bleeding through truth. Okay, that's just very factual. Let's plop back down here and basically go check his video out. Watch that video. I give it that big thumbs up. I just don't have time because basically I know too much, so it works out good. So Dutch has got a great channel here. His address is right here. Uh, and check him out. And you, they just don't trust this to be totally because they screw with addresses to make sure that too many people don't certain regions country. They're starting to try to drift people apart, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? So, don't pay attention to the boob tube. Get on the internet. Go to a club. Go talk to people. Okay? Go hang out with, like, you know, hey, if someone was stealing your hubcaps, who do you go to talk to? You know what I'm saying? Go talk to people you trust. Talk to your neighbor. Don't, you know, if you don't trust your neighbor, you don't get along with your neighbor, hey, give them a big heads up. You know, shit's gonna hit the fan. <laughs> Funky stayed. And, uh, Anyway, yeah, people should try to get along, okay? So anyway, go check this out. And basically, it looks like they are fake baking uh, quakes and rubbing them off. Uh, remember I showed you a little while ago that there was a 4.0 in Missouri, okay? Didn't see it on the news. Didn't hear it talked about too much. And now Dutch has been able to look at some data. And something's going on, okay? No matter what, something's going on. And then I haven't been watching earthquakes today, so check that out there. And I'll see if i got time for earthquake stuff later. But let's just show you what I got. All right, here we go with... And we have a very awesome triangulation there. We might spend somewhat of a decent amount of time here because I've showed you what's going on out in space. Let's uh, before I pull it up to a thousand, you're going to see this huge here, and you can you can see that there's a planet here because what you have to see or is an object, and it's huge because it's almost as big or bigger than the sun. And you get a good. I'm going to have to check my mic here real fast. All right, so basically, you've got flare that all around the sun here is very strong and you see it shoot out okay now you also have a very distinct shadow here okay of something very large there okay but no matter if that's just some kind of and it's kind of BS because it's all the same resonance because this is navy black and white now you are going to see because we're going to blow in on that triangulation okay now like I tell people the pyramids were built for a reason they've seen this stuff in the past they didn't have TV, they didn't have bullshit, they didn't have psyops, they didn't have propaganda that much, but they made their propaganda by making their pyramids. Now, no matter what, you can see that how the sun is flaring in every direction, okay, and it's strong, and it goes out way, and we've seen these CMEs go way out in space. Well, all of a sudden, and yeah, I understand, every once in a while there's a plume that's really close to the sun, and it's just kind of like a lazy, but it maybe it's huge, because the sun is huge. Almost 11 Jupiters, ladies and gentlemen, to make that there, the sun, okay? There is something huge right there. Your eyes do not deceive you. There is flares just as strong as here, 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 all around the sun there. Those flares are all just as strong. And let me just pop it down to uh, 150. And you'll get an idea looking at it from along the Blocking off the left-hand side. And you see how the sun is just shooting out just like the Japanese old flag that we went and kicked their ass in World War II, okay? And also bumping into something there. And this is our huge object right there, folks. Huge. Okay, there's huge something there. Now, is that 50, mass 50 or 55 or whatever the hell it is? Is that moved up closer? Is it brother or sister there? Something's there, okay? We're going to zoom in and take a look at this triangulation that you just can't miss. And you'll see some pretty huge stuff in there. Let me get a zoom. So no matter what, you've got this real freaky wild thing up here. Big triangulation of a bunch of stars or something in outer space, folks. And it's got a big old wing on the front of it. Something there, you can see that. I'm going to see if I'm really up as high as I want to be. Gonna, I don't think I am, but if this is a thousand, it's kind of weird that this is a thousand. So I'll go in here and go to the right, and then go over, and then you get a real good idea that there's something there, folks. Right there. And we know there's all kinds of objects in space and giant stuff up there in the super giants. So something huge right there, okay, right next to the sun. Okay, because the flares don't lie. They're shooting out long and hard. See how strong they are? And then all of a sudden, that one there is shooting out, and it just gives you a nice flashlight in space to see something out there huge next to the sun. Okay? 
that. And that's quite a bit, huge distance too, folks, between here and here. So don't worry about it. Don't. That's going to clear the sun, no matter what it would be. If it would, you know, come keep coming out, setting and rising, and coming out. Now I'm going to make sure if we're at a thousand. But as you can see, there is a wild black starish action there in within that. And remember how I showed you on that, uh, and a great big star there with a diamond action. Okay. Very interesting stuff, and the navy stuff. Don't lie. This is black and white shots. Okay, and this is from today's. Okay, February twenty fourth. Okay, so we got to come back down and look at this triangulation thing. And yep, pyramids and stuff like that. They had nothing to look at back in those ancient days, and they see something in the sky like that, and they're de definitely going to write it down and build it. You see what I'm saying, folks? They didn't just draw it on the sand. They built those pyramids for a reason. They thought they'd go up to the stars and off into the heavens like we all believe. Well, whatever. I mean, it, maybe we do. Who knows? No one's ever going to know, and I don't want to find out for a long time. I don't think anybody else does. Like I said, that land. So anyway, you got very unique. It's a triangulation right there. Big old asteroids, star belt, galaxy, whatever the flip, or some stars like here, here, and here, and they bounce light back and forth. Now, I made a video just before this one. It's going to be Yo New Bino Black, okay? Now, you want to check that one out because there's some great movie footage from the 22nd. And uh, I didn't even try to look for the 23rd because I'm just figuring, well, in a day or so, I'll be able to get the 23rd. Uh, usually got two days delay. We used to be able to get stuff right away. So back out again at 1,000. I mean, we'll go to like 100. And I got that zoom at 1,000. That's not a 1,000. I guess it is. But there you go. So the, all that's in that shot, folks. And we'll just plop up real fast, give you like 200. And then, I mean, I saw that right off the bat, and I'm like, holy crap, that is huge, because it's bigger than the sun, it looks like to me. And it looks like it's farther back. Okay, now this is behind, too, so this could be uh, basically, I don't know. It basically, you just go, like I say, go to NASA's JPL, that eyes on and figure out where stuff's at. Now there is, I got yeah, I was going to show you, I'm pretty sure that we can see Saturn or not, either that or there's another great discovery here because you're going to be able to see, sure looks like to me that that would more than likely be Saturn. And we'll go to, uh, what we see? I'm talking about that right there. Let's zoom back to a thousand. So no matter what, it breaks thatches and all kinds of stuff. Now, what's unique is how uh, we all know what the Nazi flag looks like, and then the idea that if you look at the old astronomical, uh, like the Hunan and stuff like that, and this is like one of the planets that looks like it has an arm like uh, the old Nazi flag. That basically, if you see, you have a arm out and down. Okay. Uh, very interesting is something. So I mean, it would have been something that people wrote down a long time ago because they're looking at the sky and that's what they saw. Now, does this bleed through? Now, this is dark, you see, and it's not bright. Then we also have this here also, too. And, yes, there are some stuff. If you keep looking really close at a lot of the stuff, and even the webcams down, there are holographic images that are very amazing. And your eyes, it's kind of BS that your eyes will see what you want to see because it's not. Your eyes are going to see what they see, okay? If you are a total clear conscious mind, body, and soul, which I are and tons of people are, uh, you can see whatever the heck that is right there. Now, I was thinking that would basically more than likely on odds could be some kind of something reflection or something of Saturn because more than likely Saturn. But the thing is, it's so huge, it can't be Saturn, you would think. You know, it can't. It just really, that cannot be Saturn. It's just too goddamn big. Now, Venus has been looking real big, but whatever unique, that is a very big, dark something up in front. Because this should be behind, okay? Most all the C3 and C2 should be behind shots. And this is from Navy. C3, Lasco C3. So this should be behind. So more than likely, that's down or up in front of the sun. Now, you would think with it being B and it's behind, pretty much, it's coming from the Soho B camera. Let's go to that real fast on the map. And here's the map on that real fast. Click it up to like 150 so you can see it a little bit better. There you go. Okay, so really, aesthetically, from the stuff that we've been trained when we were kids, I'm not going to say how ancient I am, but Venus and Mercury, okay, from B. Okay, so let me go back and we'll look at Lasco, because that's a behind shot. So no matter what, folks, there ain't no flipping spaceship. It's just uh, galaxy, asteroid belt, 
something that's giving us a huge wild image right there, okay? Because this is behind. The last could be the just map I just showed you, the positioning wise. So basically, we should only be seeing. I know I seen Mercury there. I wasn't even worried about. You know, it's Mercury and Venus, I think. Okay. So, uh, because basically, aesthetically, factually, every flipping word you can flip and come up with, all this stuff's out there. Okay. That image that I was showing you that was quite big and dark is like right there. That triangulation, you can't miss it even when it's down to a smaller size. You can see it right there. That object right there is over there. You can see it. No problem there. And they can see that there's something that they don't really want you to see over there either. Now, I'm going to go ahead, since I got a movie up too, let's see what we got. I think I was looking at the volcano. Yeah, this is a volcano in Japan again. And still basically, uh, I don't know if this got locked up on time or something like that. Because basically, uh, I would think that we should start getting sun action. So the idea that after I load this up, you want to go to the webcam live and start seeing what comes up because basically you can see one of the stars that st turns and, and rotates around is bluish right now in the dark in the sky right there and it looks like a little bit something there and just use your own eyes and see what you see but for sure I can see bang 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 and this is all over that volcano over in Japan and this it'll get some action later today okay when the sun comes up I'm sure because it basically it's an active volcano folks haven't looked at Rothera for a long time, but we got very interesting here because we know that that's one of the supergiant suns because it's very early in the morning, okay, basically midnight. And we'll go to get it at the other channel on the, I mean, at the other one on the other end of the base. Let's see what we actually got there. And I've proved and showed those eggshell light fixtures, fluorescence in there. We would not project the light image like that out onto. So basically something was, you know, and basically it's not the sun, folks, okay. Sun can't bend around the earth like that okay now yes they're on the bottom of the earth okay folks and yes they're already 20 but they get 23 24 hours of sunlight down there but we know we've seen our objects come by and no matter what that's still always that dark object there is always still up there Let's see what we get on this next shot see if it breaks through the clouds or anything like that on the next shot okay I clicked the wrong one Let's see what we get there like one something Went to the wrong start of the station. Now let me save some video time here too. So that's what you got there. Let's see what we get coming around. And remember, this is only one o'clock, okay? And it's coming up. That's not the sun. Okay. So at the other camera, I clicked at the wrong end again, which I don't know why that's happening. Because I could have swore I'm down here to click in the bottom one that would be end up the other side. So here we go. I'm trying to save video time too here. Load, load, load. I'm gonna stop and save time. Okay. I'm pretty sure it loaded. Now, this, I believe, is because I don't see how that could be, because uh, you can see that the very top of the, the roof, okay, the, the actual backbone of the roof, the top vein, okay, that's somewhat of something super giant somewhere or getting a reflection off one of the lights it's on because it got dark, okay. It's very unusual that that would be a light on top of there, but you know, no matter what, here comes, and it's not the sun at 2 o'clock. Uh, normally they get 23, 24 hours of daylight, so I'm thinking they're getting thrown that eclipse action, maybe. But I don't know. We're getting darkness down there than we normally spend 23, 24 hours of daylight. Maybe it's that time of change. you got to go check in the clock each on that stuff. I gave links to that a long time ago. No matter what, this shot, because basically the last one was when it was getting dark at 3, and then the 2 o'clock one we'll go to. Well, I guess we're at 2 o'clock. But we'll go to the 3 o'clock one, I guess, is that the one when it gets dark? But that wasn't the sun coming up. Okay, so I'll go back real fast to like 1 o'clock. And as you can see, it came up over there and went down. So, and I don't understand why it keeps on giving me the wrong damn window. So there you go. Because at midnight, that's not the sun. Okay, so I haven't been down there for a while. And here's the heart of the fact that basically there's the data that he's talking about that's missing. Because right when it got to that time, and you can see that there was some big action going on, they shut all the servers off. Who felt what? Now, is this triangulated object getting reflected up from the sun? Who knows? But this is an interesting shot today, too. Wild. Check out the planets, the dark shadows that they reflect off. Because this weather, cloudy, it's inside the dome. It doesn't get affected by the weather, but the clouds, dark planet shadows.